A family of four could spend up to £240 extra to guarantee they sit together on return flights. Yet, unless your heart set on particular seats, it's usually unnecessary. Here's how to sit together for free on a basic economy ticket. Number 1. Check in ASAP and you can usually sit together for free. Airlines rely on the fear factor to convince you to cough up for allocated seating. Passengers worry if they don't pay up, they'll be split up. Yet while this does apply to Ryanair, it's not a general rule. Here's the key point to understand. With most airlines, if you don't pay and just check in online as early as you can, you will get to sit with the rest of your group, as long as seats are still available. Most airlines bar Ryanair state that their seat allocation systems will always try to seat groups on the same booking together. So check in as soon as you're able to and you should get to sit together, as long as there are seats available next to each other that haven't been snapped up by folk who have paid to reserve. Of course there are no guarantees, for that you'll have to pay. But if you're willing to take a small risk to save some cash, this is a no-brainer. Number 2. Or wait until the very last minute if you're a solo traveller. While as a general rule, the best way to beat airline seat charges is to check in early. If you're travelling alone and want a specific seat, sometimes it's best to use the opposite tactic. Even if a flight is full, airlines often don't manage to sell their pricier extra legroom seats, meaning they can be the last available before takeoff. Some travellers who have checked in at the last minute have been automatically assigned the best seats, which they would have had to pay as much as £50 to reserve beforehand. Again, this is a gamble and not a guarantee. There is always a chance the premium seats will be sold and you'll be left with a dreaded middle seat. Yet, if you're feeling lucky, this is a risk that can pay off. Number 3. Travelling with the family? The kids are usually guaranteed a seat next to at least one adult. Most parents will consider sitting next to their children to be non-negotiable, even if it doesn't make for a relaxing flight. So airline seat charges can be a particular issue for families worried about being split up. The Civil Aviation Authority says airlines should aim to sit parents close to children. If this isn't possible, they should not be separated by more than one aisle or more than one seat row. It also says parents should not have to pay to avoid a situation where their child is seated in a different part of the aircraft. However, these are guidelines, not firm rules, so it's not set in stone. And in practice, most airlines guarantee that children will get to sit next to at least one adult in the party, even if you don't pay and forget to check in early. Here are some airlines policies. Virgin Atlantic, TUI and British Airways all guarantee that children under 12 will be seated with at least one adult from their booking, although the rest of the group might be split up. BA also lets you choose your seat for free if you're travelling with a child under 2, whilst Virgin and TUI warn that children may be seated behind their parents or be separated from them by an aisle. American Airlines guarantees that children under 15 will be seated with at least one adult from their booking. Air France says families with children under 15 will automatically be allocated seats next to each other. KLM says families with children under 12 will automatically be allocated seats next to each other. Jet2 and Norwegian say their systems always try to seat children with adults from their booking, although they can't guarantee it. EasyJet says the algorithm in its booking system places families together 99% of the time, and staff will ask other passengers to move to accommodate them if separated. Now, with Ryanair though, as ever, the rules are different. The good news is that children under 12 are guaranteed to sit with at least one adult in their party. The bad news is, this is because at least one adult travelling with a group of under 12s must pay for seat selection. Which leads us on to number 4. With Ryanair, the rules are different. If you don't pay, you will almost certainly be split up. Ryanair is notorious for its seating policy, which infuriates many passengers. It randomly allocates seats for those who don't pay for one. And as a result, it's become nigh on impossible for groups to sit together without reserving seats. An extreme example of this came in 2017 when it was revealed that 15 members of a hen party on a flight to Ibiza were seated in 15 separate rows, with every single person in a middle seat. Ryanair insisted then, as it has ever since, that seats for those who choose not to pay are randomly allocated. Ryanair's cheapest standard seat reservation is £3 and unfortunately there's no surefire way of avoiding this. 
If you want to have a decent shot of sitting together, you'll have to pay. If you're traveling with children under 12, it's compulsory for at least one adult in the group to pay for a seat reservation. You can then reserve seats for free for up to four children. If there's more than one adult in your group, the other adults don't have to reserve a seat, but they'll be seated elsewhere if they don't. And if you don't pay and are sat apart from your group, there's an outside chance you might get lucky and be allowed to swap seats. Ryanair is very clear this isn't officially encouraged and has said that for reasons of weight, balance and safety and to prevent delays during boarding, they advise all customers to sit in the seats they have been allocated and since all of their seats are allocated, the issue of swapping seats simply doesn't arise. Number five, if you have a disability, you'll usually be allocated or allowed to select a seat for free. If you have a disability or reduced mobility, have difficulty with communication or social interaction, or are elderly, you have a legal right to special assistance when you travel. This applies on any flights out of the UK or anywhere else in the EU, or if you're flying to an airport in the EU, including the UK, on an EU airline. If you think you need special assistance, you can declare your disability to the airline. The Civil Aviation Authority has said that whilst airlines can challenge your claim for special assistance, this rarely happens. And while there aren't specific rules on seating reservations, airlines do have a duty to make reasonable adjustments for you, so they should help you if you have special seating requirements due to a disability. Crucially, you need to contact your airline in advance to tell it about your requirements. This should be done as early as possible and no later than 48 hours before you travel. Here are some of the big airlines policies. For British Airways and Virgin Atlantic, they will allow you to select a seat free of charge. Whilst EasyJet, Emirates, Norwegian, Jet2 and Ryanair say you'll be allocated a suitable seat free of charge. Air France says you'll be able to select a standard seat free of charge if you're able to walk onto the plane and if you use a wheelchair, an appropriate seat will be allocated for you. Importantly, all these airlines say you will also be able to have a companion sit next to you and again, this is free of charge. And be advised that if you have a disability, there may be some seats you cannot sit in, for example, next to an emergency exit. Number six, a few airlines let you select a seat for free as soon as you book. A couple of long haul carriers will actually let economy passengers select a seat for free as soon as they book so you can get it sorted straight away and don't have to wait for check-in to open. Gold stars to Japan Airlines and Qatar Airways for doing this. Virgin Atlantic offers a similar service to any passengers who check in hold luggage. Those doing this can select a standard seat for free at any time. And British Airways will allow passengers who check in a hold bag to select a seat for free once check-ins opened, whilst hand luggage only passengers will have seats allocated for them. Number seven, charm check-in staff for hidden upgrades. There's never any harm in turning on the charm. Ask at the airport if there are any premium seats going spare. After all, airlines rarely publicize these opportunities. And while there are no guarantees, you might get lucky and score a free upgrade. It's also worth asking if you'd simply prefer an aisle or window seat. British Airways was asked if this happens and they stated that customers are welcome to ask our colleagues at check-in if any extra legroom seats are still available. If you've already paid for standard seat reservations, it's worth your while by phoning up when check-in opens and asking if there are any preferred seats still available. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do give it a like. Let me know in the comment section below if you're going to employ any of these tactics or if you've been successful in the past. Please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And if you think anyone else could benefit from this video, please do share it with them. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.